In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a very special generator, and no, it's not the one you're looking at right here, and it's not this one either. In fact, this generator is totally unique because it doesn't run on gas at all. Now, that's great for a lot of people, especially if you don't want the noise, fumes, or all the trouble of maintenance, but it is a different kind of machine, but it's a lot more capable than you might think. And in this video, I'm gonna put it through the same test that I do my gas generators, and you can see for yourself if this is something that you might wanna consider. Now the product I'm going to show you is called the EcoFlow Delta. Now EcoFlow is the name of the company and Delta is the model itself. But the unusual part is that this is a pre-production unit. Now they released this as part of a Kickstarter campaign that is still going and it was very successful. In fact, they were only looking for about 50 grand and they ended up with almost two and a half million dollars. Now it's not that they fooled everybody. This product was targeted specifically at a lot of other competitors sort of deficiencies and now we'll see did those people get fooled or did they get the bargain of the year by getting in so early and the first thing you're going to notice is the physical size of this thing not only weighs about 30 pounds and it's very compact I like the bottom of this thing because those rubber pads are super thick and I think they'll hold up very well in case you're going to scrape it along pavement or rough surface and with any battery unit, the first thing you want to do is get it charged up to 100%. And that's where this thing is very different. This EcoFlow Delta can actually be charged to 80% of its capacity within just one hour. And in most cases, you can charge the whole unit in under two hours. Now that's very different than competitors, some of which need almost an entire day to charge. And you'll notice too that this thing has a very cool display, but this thing's pretty smart because that display changes depending on what it's doing. So right now we're charging the units. You can see there it's actually telling you it's going to take about two hours to recharge and it's currently at about 30% capacity. So this will change depending on what you're doing. Another huge plus about this machine is that it makes no noise. It's got these little cooling fans, but they're very quiet. And you can barely even hear them running. So this is awesome for a place like a campground where you want to charge something or you want to run a machine. And to do that, you've got to use one of these electrical outlets on the back. Now they've given you six outlets that you could technically plug a surge strip into and get more if you needed, but they're easy to use. But there is one key difference and it's that little hole right there. Now if your cord's got that extra grounding tab, that tab is just gonna sit inside of the hole. Now at first I thought this was a problem, but it turns out this is actually a safety design and it's a code requirement. So no battery units like this will have a grounding plug and you have to use them just like this. Now that we're at 100%, we're gonna put this to a real test. Now if you've watched my channel before, you know I've done a lot of generator reviews. So I didn't wanna change anything to test this. So what I'm gonna do is connect it to my house the same way that I would a gas powered generator and we could see how it does. Another awesome feature about this little generator is that it is in fact inside my house. Because there's no gas involved, you don't have any fumes, noise, or anything to worry about. You can also safely keep it inside, which is a lot more convenient, and you don't have to worry about it getting stolen. And this is awesome if you're in an apartment, or a condo, or even a boat, because it's a lot easier to keep this thing right around where you need it. And as small as this thing is, it puts out about the same power as a Honda EU2000 gas generator because that thing has 2000 surge watts, but it's really only capable of putting out about 1800 watts continuous. So what I'm gonna do here is connect this thing with a heavy duty cable to an actual transfer switch that I have in my house. Now remember this generator is only 120 volts, which that just means that it's normal house power, but you couldn't run things like a well pump or a water heater with this. It just couldn't put out enough power. And this is a transfer switch that is code approved for 120 volts. And that thing has four circuits and I have some pretty important things on there. And now that I've got this generator connected, we're gonna flip those circuits on. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually switching those circuits so now they're gonna run right through the EcoFlow. And with those circuits live, we're already getting some information. You can see that I'm using about 537 watts and it's calculating that I've got about two hours of backup power on this thing. So I've got it plugged in, but what is it actually running? Now when you can run things like lights, that might not surprise you that much, but what will is the fact that I'm also running a full-size refrigerator, and this isn't a new one, it's about 10 years old and it has no problems powering it. But what's even more of a surprise is this. I'm actually running my heating system right now, and I let it power up so that it would run fully to make sure that this thing could power it, and it did it just fine. And this is a huge plus for a unit like this, and I did the same type a test with the Honda EU2000 and it also was successful but again this is a battery powered unit 
And this is a pretty heavy duty test and you can see in the display there that I can run for about three hours and that's pretty impressive considering the unit size and I'm running a number of large things. But now I want to take it outside and do a different kind of test using a 1500 watt heater which is a pretty steady draw to see how the unit does. And we're going to turn it on and put it on the maximum setting so that we're drawing the most current possible. Now this thing's drawing a big load at almost 1500 watts and the computer's telling us that we've got about 51 minutes of runtime. Now that might not sound like a whole lot of time, it really isn't compared to a gas generator, but you've got to remember this is for a different market. This is going to be for somebody who's say camping and they want to run a coffee maker or a small heater just for a little bit of time. And this may be a situation that you couldn't carry gasoline or you had no ability to refuel. So by doing a test like this, this gives you an idea that you can run very heavy duty appliances for a fairly long amount of time. While the heater was running, I wanted to check the voltage to make sure it was putting out the correct amount. And with this meter, I did confirm that I was getting about 120 volts, which is totally normal for a unit like this. Now I let the unit run for about a half hour and it was doing fine, it wasn't overheating even with that full 1500 watt draw. But what do you do when you start to run out of power and you want to recharge? Well they offer this pretty cool thing and this is actually a folding solar panel that connects to this unit. Now again if you've got a gas generator you might be laughing at this saying that this is ridiculous but that's not really who this is designed for. If you're out camping say you're in the desert and you need a way to generate power easily this type of thing works out really well and they've also cleverly designed this case that allows you to take the solar panel and it kind of props it up because oftentimes when you're out you're not going to have something that's convenient so that you can get the most sunlight possible. And by using this case you can really do that pretty easily. And they give you these waterproof connectors that are simple to connect and then you're ready to go and now you can plug it into that special port on the side of this little generator. And now with it connected you can take a look at what the setup looks like. And this is pretty cool, I can see me using this if I was out camping or down the beach and I wanted to have a good supply of electricity without dealing with gasoline. And you can see the display changes a lot too, now it's telling us it's going to take 10 hours to charge it using the solar panel. But you also get a little wattage there that shows you 43 watts. Now the panel is rated for 60, so that tells me that because it's later in the day we're not getting quite as much sun output as we normally might in the middle of the day. So what does all this mean and how did this company get over two million dollars in Kickstarter backers when other companies can hardly get their products off the ground? And it's because what they did was they focused on the things that other similar products just couldn't do. This thing charges up faster than anything else, it can hold that charge for up to a year and it's really simple to operate. Now that being said it's not going to replace somebody's gas generator say that's 5,000 watts that you're running a water heater and a well pump. This is going to be for somebody who might not even ever buy a generator or is in a situation where they can't hear all the noise or the fumes and they just want something that's easy to operate. And the last thing is if you have somebody in your family that has medical equipment that might never be able to say pull start a generator, this is so much easier and it could keep things like a CPAP or an oxygen concentrator going if you've got a power outage. So it's a pretty cool unit, I was very impressed by what it could do and it gave me a better understanding of what a battery powered unit was capable of and that was the point of this video. So I hope you found this interesting got you to learn about something new that you may have never seen before and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.